Welcome to Help Me Rhonda Show this week, guys. Wow, I'm really pumped to have our guest here today. And oddly enough, I have someone next to me that's not normally in the seat to my left, but he is my left-hand man. <laughs> Swan is joining me today because we've got a really special guest, someone that has been part of our family's life for quite some time and is really intriguing about the ways that people are thinking, right? How, well, that was interesting because Javen just tipped on over the, <laughs> I'm teasing. Okay, so uh, our guest today is Gavin Dantes, and I'm excited to have Gavin on the show because um, Gavin actually found you because of a film that you produced called How to Create Your Perfect Day. Mm -hmm. But see, he likes to take all the credit about the perfect day, but in reality, I was the one that actually slid it across his desk and told him to do it. And it took him like a, a year to do it, mm. didn't it? Back in 2006, 14 years ago. That's right. So, without any further ado, let's get the show started. Gavin, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me on. Thank um, you. We're really having so some fun today. Always, actually. It's a good time. Roll the highlight clip right now. <laughs> no. yeah. So, anyway, so Gavin, um, let's let's get into this because certainly we we talk about this often. You actually did find that film yeah. that Brian produced, which is called "Create Your Perfect Day." Mm -hmm. Now, would you share with me what was it? What were you searching for when you found that? Not about "Create Your Day." I want to know what you were doing and why you were doing it, and then let's talk about the impact that that just that exercise alone had. Mm -hmm. This is such a important piece of like my story because it was during a time in my life where I kind of had this like a near-death experience about a year before this and I started going down this new way of trying to live but I didn't have any knowledge of how to do it but I always felt something I always felt something in my heart and my gut that I would be able to figure something out mm. because I was working all of these lower paying jobs and bouncing around from thing to thing but I knew there was something more inside of me I just didn't know what and then when I found this Perfect Day video, I had someone articulate what Ooh. I was feeling for so long. Yeah. And I was searching online, like how can I like travel the world and not just travel and backpack and come home broke, travel and back up, yeah. you know? So I, wanted, I needed to figure out a different way to live. And then I saw this like holistic way of like, you can have all of these things, not just what I was taught. Oh, you're gonna, if you get this job, you're not gonna like your job, but you have money. Or you'll be broke doing what you love. Ooh. But then this whole thing came together. And from then I wrote out six pages of what I wanted my life to look like. And within five years, that was my life. That's pretty cool though. No, I, gotta, I gotta ask this, because I, I, when my you show. found it, no, it's my, my show. show. I'm in the middle, okay? All right, so when, when you found it, were you searching for something on YouTube? Or was it something, yeah. somebody, in like, do you remember what you typed in? I, I don't remember exactly what I typed in, but it was something to do with like uh, freedom or travel or online business or, you know, it was, I, I was looking for multiple things, but nothing, I was just searching. I was looking for something. Yeah. yeah. Well, because most people I think right now, um, even now, right, they're going, what am I going to do next with my life? Well, we all go through those phases, but I think what is important is that when I shared that with you, Brian, the perfect day exercise, because it was actually, I was in the same space, right? right? I was in corporate and wanted to get out because I witnessed a woman put a baby in daycare. And I didn't want to do that to a child. So then I got this personal development program and I did this exercise. Mm -hmm. And it was like so like eye-opening because I had never actually taken the time to look at what do you want? Right, I'd always been asking, what should I get? What's my goals? Exactly. But what do you want your life to look like in just your perfect day? And not like your ultimate day where you don't have to do anything, like a true perfect day. And then after I did that, you were kind of skeptical as to what I was up to. Well, I didn't do it for probably at least six months. And it was more of a, I never wrote anything down. I never wrote down any goals. It was before the law or the secret. Yeah. And mm. you kept on saying, do this, do this, listen to this. And it's like bringing a, horse to the water but you can't make the horse drink yeah. so i'm i'm that horse but it was one of those crazy things when it was this big personal development uh book Ooh. and the first exercise i would never wanted to do it i looked at it so many times but i had the fear of what if you actually read it i'm like like or what if what if friends yeah. or family read it and what if it didn't become true and i'm yeah. like i'm like this is kind of like make-believe writing out what your ideal perfect because it feels uncomfortable yeah. doesn't it it does right like do you remember like when you did that because this was a big thing for you you were he was uncomfortable and then of course once he did it he started to open his mind and i think that's the element that i want to talk about that is that when we actually start to think a little bit differently then 
or our minds start to open. And all of a sudden, oddly enough, other ideas or other doors start to open. So you were searching because you're in search of. Do you remember that moment that you actually wrote your perfect dad? Did it feel fake like you were an imposter? I, I, I'm kind of opposite to that when I was doing it. Mm. It was the first time I really felt like, oh my God, I, I think Freedom. I can actually yeah. like do something like this. It was like, um, just like an architect, they put together the blueprint, you know? And I'd never had a blueprint for what I actually wanted. It was always just like bits and pieces. I knew I wanted to travel. I knew I wanted to do things that I wanted to do, but I didn't really ever take it serious almost, you know? Yeah. Because it's like, well, how do I actually do that? How is that even possible? There's so many limiting beliefs. But when I was writing it out, there was something inside kind of saying like, I'm going to make this happen no matter what. Mm. But I don't, like, I didn't like have any idea how. But then it was the reverse engineering process. I was like, oh, well, I'm going to need an internet business if I need that. Oh, I'm going to. So now I actually knew what I, what skills that I could go get. And like, again, I took yeah. your branding course after yeah. this. So yeah, I, I started just... to realize like what I needed to do to make it happen. Yeah. And that was like a big transition too. I remember you took my course, which is pretty cool. Cause you know, I've been doing this for quite some time, but like you now, yeah, but you now are, um, you're the founder of a company called limitless where you really help people uncrack their mind or literally t tap in. There was a video recently that I watched that you had on Instagram about following the, the white rabbit. Yeah. And I have a feeling that this is really what you're talking about. This moment. Yes. So a perfect example, and we can, I can break this down real quick, which is, you know, Neo represented the, the Neo cortex, our higher thinking mind. And when we start to go search for things, we will start to see like synchronicity, right? So yeah. he saw the white rabbit when he's going after to find truth or right. find something more, which then leads him down a path. And then he starts to align with his heart and his truth. And then he starts to wake up, right? And it's not an easy journey. I could not at all say that five years of me getting to my perfect day was easy. I had to overcome self-doubt, limiting beliefs, overcome so many challenges, get up when I was knocked down. But I had a blueprint of what I actually wanted. And yeah. it's like typing in on Google, if you type in like make money, well, maybe you're gonna end up just making money doing something you don't want. If you type in some really long tail keyword, you get a more specific result. The perfect day is like specificity and health, wealth, love, happiness, like all this congruent way of living mm. so you can actually have all of those elements working together. It's amazing. No, I love it. And I love the parallel to this video because we were just also recently watching The Matrix, yeah, right? Yeah. And it's about waking up. And I think right now, more than ever, the world deserves and needs to wake up. Yeah. Because for so long, we've been trusting what the government and what everything else is showing up mm -hmm. for us. And there's a number of us, I think, why we live in Bali. I think we're a bit more um, self-actualized and more awoke about what's going on around us. But that video allows me to go, wait a minute. When I think about a blue car, I just keep seeing blue cars. Yes. When I think about wanting to find something, you found the perfect day, yes. right? That showed up for you. And so I think that this is also where the synchronicities will lie. And I'd like to, to go a little bit deeper on that with the work that you're doing currently. Like you've been helping people wake up and see that white rabbit, so to speak. Talk to me more about like the, the, the pathway and the methodology that you've been, you've put together when it comes to helping people come limitless, mm -hmm. because I think it's really powerful, especially right now to wake up in these times. It's, um, it's very interesting when I go into this topic because I, I have this belief that we're like born limitless, mm -hmm. right? The limitations get put on us. You know, you could do almost anything, but through the education system, we're just like kind of knocked down a bunch of pegs. And that's like our glass ceiling of what we think is possible. So then everybody else all believes that po that is possible. So then, then they all validate what's actually possible. Yeah. And then there's a small percentage of people who break their minds free from that. And I've done such simple exercises with people, just like showing them how their memory works. How many times you hear someone say like, I don't remember names, I'm bad with names. And I'm like, you're not bad with names. You're just not sure how your memory works because you were never taught in school. We were all taught to memorize, but not how memory works. So then I was like, okay, the first step is gonna be, well, how do we decode how our mind works? So I'm like, if we can upgrade our own software, like you upgrade your iPhone, yeah. well, then you can activate and navigate through the world a lot better. If you don't, you're always gonna be lagging behind. And anyone who knows how to press your buttons with sugary foods, with certain, mar is all gonna press those buttons to get you to buy their stuff and get you to buy into their ideas. So they're gonna have influence and you're gonna just be influenced from the outside. 
But when you can go internally and you can hack your own mind like Neo, he is a computer hacker of his own mind. Well, now he can start to create what he wants. You know, let me, uh, let me go on top of this because it's like when I was this robotics engineer before I you know, wrote out the perfect day and started le learning on personal development, started listening to podcasts and doing education, she kept on telling me to do it, but I wasn't doing it because I wasn't ready for it. And then also realizing that she's trying to do something online and if she fails, I could be the one like, oh, mm. trying to do that home thing and it yeah. doesn't work. But what I was seeing before she actually, before you actually generated any income, she was becoming a better person. Yeah. And she was in there, but I'm like, I'm like, huh. When you say you know? better person, no, this is a really big thing because I want to yeah. bring this up because what do you think was a better person? I believe and know where I was at. What I was seeing is that you were you were expanding your mind and and actually listening more and doing things and I'm like whoa like certain Just being more aware and present yeah and I'm like wow yeah. there's something different about what she's doing she's actually she's being like a, a nicer like not that you're mean no but you're but more aware of things I, and I think uh, for me if anything if this is valid is taking more responsibility see where the the problems lie in relationships and partnerships is that because you'd rather blame them instead of it does it stops with you and i remember things stopping with me i was no longer bitching at you about yes. not doing the dishes or i still get annoyed because i like things really tidy yet i do recall being more and i still we're still more we all just take total responsibility because why lay on to someone else when it's really your own deal you know, and here's one of the biggest things that we also installed upon LA from day one. And when I heard this, it was, to me, it, it, it just makes natural sense. But I remember hearing Deepak Chopra and you're like, listen to this guy. Ooh, yeah. I'm like, who is this guy, this guru? And he says, happiness is a choice. And I didn't understand, I couldn't, like, yeah. I just like, what do you mean? If somebody says something to you and they say something bad, like, well, you're gonna be mad. Uh, well, yeah. no, 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 it's like, you can decide if you're going to be happy or if you're going to be mad, whatever it was. But it was that that first time to where I actually had a choice where I'm like, well, yeah. I get to decide on where this goes yeah. further. And what happened from us, sorry to take it away from you, oh, but I'm like, sorry. I think this is really important. Like when you're first starting out was that our like, let's say arguments that would last, let's say two days mm. can get over like that because we're just making a choice yeah anyway. i agree i i think it's powerful and what do you how, how why do you think that that happens gavin because i know you work a lot with entrepreneurs and in shifting their mindset and the way that they're thinking right and do you think that people believe that they do have a choice and what they can have out of life yeah but I, it's it's kind of like if i gave you a choice between like coke and pepsi and said which one do you want to be healthy you know so people are always thinking they only have this alternative of choice from other people they don't believe they can generate their own ability to take their own responsibility. And that is so powerful. So I, I do this exercise with people where I, I ask them to say the word, let's say love, but say it in your mind without moving your mouth or then hearing anything. And they're like, we can all do that, right? It's like, well, no sound vibration left your mouth and no vibration hit your ears, but you were able to say love and hear love. It's like, what is that voice? When you close your eyes, what eyes see your future, right? What eyes are actually seeing your past? It's not these eyes. These eyes are just taking in the light. They're just taking in the information. But we can see beyond. We can uh, speak to ourselves. Ooh. But most people, what's going to happen is they're going to just take in the words from everywhere else and they're going to be almost like an automata automaton robot yeah, right. following whatever that yeah, programming is. This is why it's called TV programming, right? Uh, so if you're just listening to the news over and over the same thing, and that's just what's inside you, now you're in fear, you're pushing that fear onto other people, and everybody is in this state, not controlling their own internal dialogue. That internal dialogue can get pulled in, and you can then create that perfect day, create that reality. Ooh. Now this is the reality live, you live inside. Then you get to have pure choice. This yeah. is your choice now. How do you want to live? So. We can't change reality, meaning this just is. The laws of the universe are gonna work that way, but we can change is the way we see reality, like you're talking about with the happiness. I started to choose, I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to make this happen. I'm gonna take that uh, learning lesson as a learning lesson, not as a failure. 
You know, you can either win or you can learn. And I started changing. The red pill of the blue pill, yeah, right? and, and then you just keep changing your perspective. And every time I would make a mistake, I would see where can I see the good in here. You know, and I'm, that's not to be delusional. You still see reality, but you, where's that seed of opportunity? Well, it's awareness, right? I mean, you were talking about choices and when you can't decide if Pepsi or Coke is better or not better because you really don't know, but when you understand what they mean, then the choices make sense. That's why I said the red and the blue pill because if I said red and blue pill now, people would go, what does that mean? Yeah. And, but if I say, well, the blue pill is where you stay hidden in this reality that is a perfect world, or the red pill is where you actually see and you understand, see you see beyond what's going on and you see truth, what do you then choose? Now that taps into our integrity or, or even in our values, right? Of what do I really want? And then you get to truly see who you are and how you make choices. And to, to me, that's why I wanted to bring the, the, the video up you did about White Rabbit and the discussion we had about the matrix, because I think we're all living right now, we are really truly aware that we're in the matrix. Yes. People are more aware now that we're in this matrix. Ever. Yeah, right now, right? Like a we're map. seeing all the stuff that's being done, all the governmental controls, all the, the forced decision making. But those that are awake and, and, and look, guys, I mean, this is there's some realities here. Like you've got to be awoke in order to get more out of what you want out of life. And that's where the perfect day can come. You from. know, I love the philosophers. They used to say, like, the unexamined life isn't worth living. Yeah. You know, if you're just randomly being told what to do following randomly, that's not going to be a very uh, enjoyable life Fulfilling. because you can, anyone can make you sad if they want to make you sad. Yeah. Anyone can make you in fear if they want to make you in fear. And you just follow whatever it that's is. It. And that's a very unfortunate place to be. But if you can then peel back some of those layers and look inwards and look outwards, do that feedback loop. Oh, it's so yeah. amazing what you can create. I'm with you. Now, what's next for um, Gavin Dantes and, and The Limitless? Like, what's next? Because I know already, like, your work and you've been featured in Forbes, Inc. Magazine. Like, you've done some big work and your company, Limitless, is just changing and shredding people's lives and really opening their mindset. What's really more next for you? Well, a couple of years ago, I built an e-commerce business, multiple seven-figure e-com business with my business partner, Cooper, at the time. And it was amazing to see that, wow, all of this like influence and mind stuff and all of this like really works. Like, oh, I can't believe how like it's gotten to this point. But I started to ask myself, okay, with these skills, what impact can I have? And that's really like where, when we're talking about the Forbes articles, Inc. articles, when you're talking about the people that you deal with, the, the best kept secrets, turning them into the best known experts because they have so much value to give but they just yeah. don't know how to influence mm -hmm. the external world with it. They're just great with the content yeah. and they've maybe created the results for themselves but they need more. So now I'm just like, how can I push that on to as many people as possible? So not just help them just only like with their mindset, but how can I help them influence their world? Yeah. You know, how can I help them use speed of implementation, take fearless action, say the things they really want to say, be the person they really want to be. Don't just wear the mask and just try to make money so I can look cool. How can I be that authentic version of myself? Because I've upgraded myself, I no longer like in the movie, The Matrix, when he gets shot with the bullets and he stops him, he says no. He's saying no to the control system. He's saying no to people telling him he can't. He's saying no, and now it no longer affects him yeah. because he's gotten beyond that. That so social conditioning is now gone. And like when I see that sparkle and like light in someone's eye when they're, you know, and then I see them going after what they truly want. And then I see that impact it has on the people around them. Oh, it's so powerful. So I'm going to keep diving down this rabbit hole yeah. in as many ways as possible. And that's why I'm making so many strategic partnerships with yeah. the right people now yeah. because right. I see what you guys are doing. And I see what everyone around and I'm like, how do I add value to everyone else? And then keep going with that process. Let me, let me ask you one question here because you were you generated quite a bit of money in e-com. How did you or why did you make that switch like from doing e-com being successful, which pretty much I would imagine you get to do whatever you want. You were like living like yeah. kind of the dream. What made you switch? It, it's it's a, an alignment thing. Like the follow the white rabbit is the perfect example. Is synced up in life. Sometimes you have these feelings where you're in flow. Like everything disappears. You're pure present in the moment. And as soon as that stopped happening, I realized this isn't my path. I don't have enough time. Let's say there's like, you know, 15,000 days left in my life. 
how many of those days do I want to spend just selling random products that are not the thing that I'm all about? Yeah. Yeah. Like, do I want my book at the end of my life to be like, yeah, he made a bunch of money doing something that was not his true values? Or do I want it to be, he risked it all to go down the path that he truly, truly wanted. And he kept peeling back layer after layer after layer, going after that like hero's journey. And I'm so inspired by the people who are just willing to really stand up for their truth no matter what. And when I did this, it was a stupid decision financially, like a stupid business decision. But I you said to myself, I said to myself, I'm gonna figure it out no matter what. And I think that level of like courage almost, or that level of just knowing I'm gonna figure it out, that brings so much value into your life because the people that have come into my life because of that decision is yeah. so amazing. And if I didn't, they wouldn't have been there. Well, I absolutely love it. Thank you so much for you know being here and really sharing more deeply about what you're about. And that's to me, that's why I bring certain people in to my show is because I truly believe that sexy brands are something that knows who they are. They know what they do, how they do it. They know how to showcase it to the world. They know that their knowledge can be influential, but in an influential way that changes people's lives, not influences them to do what they want them to do. So Gavin, thank you. I'm so excited for more. Where can people find you so they can follow you more. They can uh, look me up Gavin Dantes with a Z on Google and you'll find all my social media platforms. I luckily get the first page dominated there, which is awesome. Yeah, nice. <laughs> awesome. Well, guys, what do you think? That's a sexy brand. And I want you to really think about that. What we talked about today. Are you following the white rabbit? Are you taking synchronistic cues that your life is shifting in a way that allows you to go into the direction of your dreams? Guys, I look forward to seeing you on the next show and I'm always going to leave you with this. If you're going to create a brand, create a sexy brand. If you're going to be anything, be unstoppable! We'll see you next time. Woo! Brand awareness is key in today's modern digital era. And with the rapid growth of social media platforms and the simplicity for all brands to compete on the same playing field, business owners have to start getting creative with how their brand message reaches their clients and customers. Hi, I'm Rhonda Swan, the CEO and founder of the Unstoppable Branding Agency and the Sexy Brand Building Formula Programs, where we help our clients create a sexy brand through strategic brand marketing, image, and film. I believe every small business owner deserves to stand out in a sea of marketing messages and make their competition irrelevant with the right brand image, brand message, and strategy. If your brand and marketing is well thought out, but design and images look terrible, no one will take your business seriously. If your design is beautiful, but your marketing message isn't planned out so strategically, it will fall flat on its face. That's where our team comes in. We help our clients restructure their brand image with photo shoots and create a winning combination of strategic brand building through impeccable design and great storytelling through film. The world of business has changed. Because of social media, customers and clients are looking for transparency and connection. A business owner can no longer hide behind a website or rely on their services to attract the perfect client. They want realness and they want to see the truth behind the brand. As you can tell, we do things differently. And if that excites you, I want to invite you to book a consultation or join us at our upcoming VIP branding retreat and let us help you turn your brand into a sexy profit-making machine.